welcome to episode two of Making an Anime. I did episode one back in 2020, but I have just started watching One Piece, so you can say I'm re-inspired. Today we will specifically be making a shonen. Our first ingredient will be a naive cinnamon roll protagonist. Don't forget, he must be overpowered. The show is about him. How can we keep it going for 10 seasons if he isn't guaranteed to survive? Next we'll add a completely unrealistic goal which he will subsequently bamboozle everybody in the show into supporting him in. The purpose of this is also mm, to provide the option of making this go for 10 seasons. For sure that your children's children will still be watching. Spicy. This <coughs> will add a somewhat absent father figure. This guy's either inspiring or the reason for the protagonist's trauma or both. The protagonist may have to pay for the sins of this father figure and it might become part of his quest. Next up, a girl. She's just there. There's the option for her to be a love interest. She will stand by her stupid ass man through thick and thin. Next, and this is my personal favorite, reluctant best frenemy. I will claim he hates the protagonist, really admires him and will risk his life to save him. But will continuously switch between fighting and saving each other's lives. Along the way, they make each other better or whatever. We're gonna mix that until it becomes somewhat of a model of healthy masculinity. I don't know. I almost forgot. Neurodivergent coding for the protagonist. He just is. Being neurodivergent myself only explains his habit to hyperfixate and not know how to fucking chill. Can't forget about the found family trope. Lastly, there are about 10 or 15 voice actors I think have been around since the beginning of time. Because if you're a millennial, they have been in every single anime that you've ever watched. Add all of them. And now we're done. Take a look at our creation. Mmm, a masterpiece. Yum.